Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to talk about how to save and load data in Unity uh, using prefs. Uh, so there are player prefs and editor prefs. Uh, the only difference between player prefs and the editor prefs is that uh, you use player prefs to save data inside of your game and you use editor prefs uh, to save some of the data inside of the Unity editor. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about how to uh, use prefs in general, but uh, there's no difference between player prefs and editor prefs. Uh, it's just that editor prefs is used in within editor and player prefs is used within your game. But the way you use both of these is exactly the same. So we are going to use player prefs in this example. Uh, so as you can see in this uh, project, have this example scene that I set up. It is a simple music player uh, that you can, for example, modify the volume, the pitch. You can select uh, the different track and you can also uh, set the time of the, uh, well, the current uh, audio source uh, time. So let's jump into the play mode. So let's press play. All right, as you can see, we have this uh, very basic music player. Uh, we can select the track. So for example, if I select uh, this track, and what we want to do is we want to save this current uh, data by pressing the save button and whenever we load this uh, scene again or whenever we for example press uh, load button all of the saved data is going to be uh, loaded back uh, but at the current moment even if we press save and we exit uh, this uh, game and we press again as you can see the data is not loaded and even if we press load nothing is happening so whenever we press save button we invoke this save uh, method and whenever we press load, we invoke this load method. And this update is simply just for updating uh, the UI as well as the audio. Of course, we're not going to cover how to create this entire mixer. But if you want to get all of those files, uh, then there's going to be a link in the description where you can get all of those files. But uh, in this video, we're only going to cover how to uh, save and load data. Let's start by saving the tracks volume so to do that what we need to do is first of all we need to say player press then we need to say uh, dot set and uh, considering that uh, the source of volume is a float value we need of course to set the float and this method requires the key and the value so if you ever used dictionaries this is pretty much the same thing uh, so for the key in this case is a string so for example a music player a volume and uh, the value is going to be uh, the source dot volume all right and this is all we need to do to save uh, the volume using player paths so what we need to do now is of course we need to load this saved value back whenever we press load uh, so to do that uh, what we need to do is we need to say that the source dot volume is going to be equals uh, to player prefs and uh, as we have the set float we of course also have the get float so this uh, method requires the key uh, so the key is of course going to be uh, the same key as we put inside of the set float method and it is important that you put exactly the same key as you put right here the player prefs uh, is case sensitive so make sure that you type exactly the same uh, key as you put inside of the set float uh, method all right and this is all we need to do to save and load uh, the music player volume so let's go back to unity and let's try to play test this scene again all right let's try to for example set the volume something like this let's try to press uh, save and uh, then let's try to modify this volume again for example something like this and if we're going to press load as you can see the volume is loaded and everything seems to work uh, perfectly so what we need to save also is we need to save 
uh, the pitch, which is also the float. So let's say player prefs dot set float, and we can call this something like music player dot uh, music player pitch, and uh, and the value is going to be source uh, dot pitch. And that is all we need to do. So now let's go and let's load this pitch back. So now let's go and let's say that the pitch of the source is going to be equals to player prefs dot uh, get float and uh, this is going to be uh, the music player pitch and that is all we need to do and let's try to for example change the pitch to something else so let's say for example that i want maximum pitch and i want to set the volume to be for example something like this so let's try to save it let's modify this some other way let's press load and as you can see data is loaded and everything seems to work so what we need to also save is going to be the current playing uh, audio track so whenever we press on this element uh, one of these elements uh, what we do is we call this set track method uh, which simply uh, updates this integer and whenever we for example play the track we simply access this array of audio clips and we use this uh, integer as the index on what track we want to play so what we want to save is of course this integer so let's simply say set int then for the key let's put music player uh, track and uh, the value is going to be uh, this t uh, integer so let's go back to the load method and then let's say that the t is going to be equals to player press dot get integer and for the key is going to be music player track and this is all we need to do so now let's go back again to the play mode all right as you can see the music is playing let's uh let's try to press uh, save let's exit this game and whenever we're going to play this game again all of the data should load uh, successfully and as you can see we are currently playing the very last audio track that we selected and just for testing purposes let's select this uh third track let's press save and as you can see, everything seems to be working uh, as it should. Alright, so the very last information that we need to save is going to be the audio source dot time value. So let's simply go back to the save method. And what we want to save is going to be the player prefs dot in this case is going to be set a float. So for the key, let's put music player uh, time. And for the value, we need to put source dot Time. And of course, we need to load this uh, data back. So let's simply say source dot time is going to be equals to player press dot get float, and it's going to be music player time. And this is all we need to do. So let's go back to Unity. So let's try to, for example, change uh, this to something like this. Uh, let's select this audio track. Let's uh, set the pitch to be something like, like this and the volume to be something like this. Let's press save and as you can see all of the data is loaded back successfully. all we're going to cover in this video so if you want to get all of the source files meaning that uh, this entire scene and well pretty much this entire project then head to the description and in there you're going to find a link where you can get all of these source files but other than that thank you very much for watching in, in the next uh, videos we're going to cover other ways to save data in unity such as xml json binary as well as scriptable object uh, but for now this is all we need to cover uh, so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video